Hi guys, we're back with Mario! This time we're going into Tiny Huge Island. I love this island, I really do. This is probably one of my favourite stages. Look at it, you got these tiny little Goombas. Goombas, Goomba, Goombas, right? Goom Goomba. Goomba, Goomba, Goomba. I say Goombas, but I know they're Goombas. They are Goombas. Okay, confirm with their Goombas or Goombas, please. <laughs> anyway. You go in and you're all tiny and they've got these tiny little feet that run after you and I love it. I think it's brilliant. And then you can go in and you're like this and you're really small and there's giant piranha plant. Piranha? Piranha. Piranha plant's trying to eat you. I think it's fantastic. And it's quite difficult actually, to be honest. Um, it probably took me a good few attempts to do a lot of the stuff on here. Like this, it's taking ages. It, all you've got to do is jump on the piranha heads. Piranha plant heads like that you get a star after you do it there's five of them you jump on their heads they die you get a star it's not as easy as it looks I really thought yeah yeah I'm gonna do this in a few seconds I'm gonna jump on their heads it's gonna be it no no I could not do that which you just saw I kept burning my bum as well it's not it's not good when stuff like that happens and this one the boulders oh my god the attempts it took me trying to get on that ledge and get past the boulders this is why I've edited out the deaths Seriously, you don't want to be watching me do that. It's not good. Oh, look at the giant Goomba. Goomba, Goomba. I'm not. Oh, Gom, Goomba. Hmm. Sure, it's a Goomba. Anyway, I've been calling Queen Stars for the past God knows how many episodes. So, whatever I say, just ignore me. Ah, oh, I think. I oh, know this was just this one. This was basically get to the top of the hill. You have to go the way round I just did like past uh, past the plants up the side past the boulders you know this is pretty much the way of way of the game um, that you use a lot there's a lot basically it's, it's, it's a floating island and you just basically walk around it but that way is the way a lot of it is ah Cooper the quick oh Cooper the quick this took me. He beat me like three times. Well, I just ran into a wall. It's pretty obvious why he beat me. But um, he's beat me about. This took. I'd say a good seven attempts at this because I kept uh, long jumping and falling off into the. Um... See, look how fast he is. I kept falling into the sky, sea, floor thing. You know, think kills you. I kept ending up down there when I kept trying to long jump about three times, and he beat me twice. Well, maybe three times he beat me a lot because whenever I got to the bridge with the wind he was just running past me I was like what the hell this game is a cheat it made me really angry I actually had to stop and walk away that's my rage quitting Cooper the Quick and I came back and I was like no and I, I beat him these ones are the secret holes uh, it's called itty bitty itty bitty secrets uh, the first one was the hole where the bombs are rolling out the second one was where the two came out that little little doorway there. The other one was just to the... is that my left or right? That is my left. <laughs> to the left of there. Um, you have to talk to the bomb to open up the little cannon hole. That's number four. And number five is where um, it's literally right at the top. There's like a... at the top of the mountain there's like a little pool of water. There's a hole in the pool of water. That is the fifth itty bitty secret. I wouldn't really say they're secrets, I'd say they're more doorways. I think that's a little off-putting. When I first played this game, I only realised what they were because I walked past the bit with the bombs and it was like one. And I was like, what the hell was number one? Like, I really don't understand. So the fact uh, they call them itty bitty secrets is a bit of a letdown. The fact it says they're itty bitty means you must go in there big. I suppose that's the only way of it sort of telling you. But uh, you spend... I think for most of these stars you actually go in big first. You don't really need to be small for a lot of it. It's good to be small for the 100 coins because if you bum drop the big Goombas they give you the blue coins. It's a very good way of getting the 100. I think it might be the only way of getting 100. But you'll see that. See that was the secret doorway. Sorry, itty bitty secret. On a secret doorway, it's not secret, it's in front of you. That's what annoys me. Anyway, Cooper Shell. 
Always like a Cooper shell. And this one, you want to cannon yourself. Oh, he's in the hole. Oh, yeah, took out the Goomba. See, if you kill them normally, they only give you a coin. Don't do that. Bum drop them. They're rich when you bum drop them. Anyway, I do have it while I'm sneaking in there to go get my red coins. They are all inside this mountain. Oh, look, he's running down. He's running around down there. Shellless. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Naked. Anyway, you go in here. Really tiny ledge. Tiptoe. Don't run it. All your coins are basically through here. You have to hop about and jump. Pretty much the dealio with that. So, anyway. My, my question for this episode, because I did say I was going to do a question that episode, is if you had to make a Mario world, what would you have in it? See, I quite like the idea of this one, but I'd, I'd admit I'd probably have like a <laughs> Princess Peach themed world. You know, I'd have something a little more fluffy. <laughs> I like describing it. Few more. Few, few more. Um. I don't know. I'd have it more girly. Not 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 more pink or nothing, but a bit more bouncy, a bit more fluffy, a little bit more fun. Oh, because in here, I don't know if you can hear it very well, but uh, the the music is a. Uh, the boss in here is um rig wriggle wriggler wriggler it's a big caterpillar with a daisy in its hair nothing but it makes wriggly sounding music and i don't like that so my music would have to be like fun and dancey you'd have to have a good little like boogie on down to the mario music <laughs> but so if you did have a world how would you have your world would you have it like dark and evil like bowser would you have it bouncy and springy like my <laughs> You know, flowers and ponies. No, no, it won't be that bad. Um, or do you have it like, I thought this was genius that you could be big or small. Well, not quite genius. But for its time, it was genius. See, that happens a lot. It's quite annoying. I actually kept it at death. <laughs> I missed that one. <laughs> you can see my mistakes in my videos. Uh, so this, this, I can't remember what this one was. And I didn't have time to read that one just then. Yeah, if you do want to read the titles, just pause it, because you will see it. I have got um, all the titles in here. You just flash past quite quickly. Oh, I know what this is. This is Wriggler. To fear, I was just talking about Wriggler. This is Wriggler. You have to go in... See, I told you there was a hole at the top. Top of the mountain. You have to be big. Go up to the top. Bum drop in the water, and that drains the water. Then you have to make yourself itty bitty, come back up to the top, and drop down the hole, and you'll find Wriggler with all its wriggly sounding music. You then, once you're with Wriggler, have to bounce on its head three times. That's pretty much it. <laughs> yeah, bounce on its head three times. It gets a little angry every time you bounce on its head. Like you bounce on it once. It's like like it's minding its own business to begin with. You bounce on its head. It looks at you and you say, like, oh no, that's it, I'm going to come get you. So it runs after you, like literally like that. It runs after you. And you have to bounce its head again and it's like, no, no you didn't. And then it's, it gets really angry and starts chasing you a bit faster. And you bounce its head again, you know. It gives up, it spits up a star and that's the end of it. you got to admit, the Mario stars are pretty easily fought out. They're so hard to get to. Some of them are ridiculous. This level's not too bad. This is like the medium in between the easy levels and the hard levels. The last two levels that were on this game. I'm dreading. I really am. <laughs> because they're, they're going to take me so long. See, so like one bounce. That's it, I'm angry. Two bounce. Now I'm really mad. Three bounce. I've had enough. I'm going to give you the star. I don't know why it shrinks. Oh, another black screen! Seriously. I, I shall sort that black screen. <laughs> anyway, uh, now we have the 100 coins. See, look, bum drop in. Rip. 
Right guys, are well, you going to see my coins jump there? I had a official whole minute of black screen. Oh man. I've been at the city mayor and deleted the original files so I can't go back and repair the black screens but I can remove them so you don't have to look at them. <laughs> you know, I'll at least do that. Uh, I'm not removing the one with Wriggler because uh, it was just for a couple of seconds. Stuff like that's really not going to phase me and I hope it doesn't phase you. So, uh, just really emulators, emulators and Sony Vegas are not good. It's putting me off of maybe doing games on them again or I will find a way to fix the problems because it's starting to be it's starting to occur very very often now and it's ruining a lot of my videos I am not too happy about it but, but you know it makes this episode a little quicker I got the coins a bit faster it's not too bad imagine how slow I'm actually walking there Nice, Goomba. Goomba. Okay. Yeah, pretty much most of this level is uh, blue coins. Oh yeah, don't worry, when you see the windy bits, don't worry about jumping off too much. A wind usually catches you, it's quite cool. Because I thought I was going to die at one point. I was like, ah, oh, result. I couldn't remember it ever doing that. I, maybe I didn't try it, no, Shanga, I don't know. I didn't remember that and it happened. Woohoo! Happy days. Everybody wins. Boomba. Yeah, as I was probably saying that the whole time I was recording. <laughs> I told you jump with a Goomba. Goomba. I do like to make my strange little noises and make up names for things. Keeps games a little bit more interesting. Uh, so you know, if you saw a Goomba. Would you call a Goomba Goomba? Ah, oh, watch out for this guy! I just saw him in the corner. When you're jumping up here, don't let him grab you. They just throw you in the opposite direction. You just do not want to go and you usually result in a death. Especially when you're doing your 100 coins. I came across him a couple times he just threw me off the edge of the cliff. But they tend to follow you, so whoever you are, he will try and follow you. He was quite lucky we could just jump past him then. But, um... Yeah, watch out for those and they're always in the most inconvenient place uh, like they're all the next to a star or they're next to a bit that you need to get past to get somewhere else and they're really annoying I can't stand those enemies if there was I don't mind anything else I don't mind things throwing stuff at me spitting little balls of oh that's fun <laughs> spitting little balls of fire at me but picking me up and throwing me somewhere I do not oh look at the fish did you see that throwing me somewhere I just do not want to go it's not nice yeah there is a giant fish with sunglasses on swimming around here I think he has a name does anyone know his name if he's got one but I only ever remember seeing him in Mario 64 black screen Anyway, on the beach. Black screen's making me angry. Hulk mad, you know. That kind of feeling. Yeah, because I sound it. I am, I'm angry, really. <laughs> Back in the cannon. Oh, I know where I'm going. I was like, where the hell am I going? I'm meant to be finding coins. I'm going back in the, um... First I'm going to get that Goomba. I'm going back in the red coins. You know, if all else fails and you don't have enough red coins, the red ones will always give you 16 coins. But if in doubt, hunt the red ones down. Because there's always just over 100 a level. There's, I don't think there's a level where it's dead on 100. There's always a few extra that you're able to get. So we're coming up to the end of this episode, I'm just approaching my red coins. Uh, so let me know what world would you have and how would you have it and also what's the name of that fish? So anyway, I'll see you next time guys. Bye!